A newly released report has claimed that the 44th president of the United States is a CIA creation. American investigative journalist Wayne Matson says Barack Obama, as well as his family, including his parents, stepfather, and grandmother, had connections with the CIA. America, tonight, if you feel the same energy that I do, if you feel the same urgency that I do, an exceptional orator, promise for the disillusioned, and change from the status quo. These are all what helped Barack Obama to become president two years ago. But now the reality seems to be something far from that. In what is being called a bombshell, investigative journalist Wayne Madsen has revealed in a report that in 1983, President Obama worked for the Business International Corporation, which was a CIA front. The company used to conduct seminars with the world's most powerful leaders as agents abroad with CIA espionage activities. Madsen says this intelligence connection runs in Obama's family. Obama's maternal grandmother, Madeleine Dunham, was one of the first female vice presidents of the Bank of Hawaii in Honolulu. The report says this bank was also a CIA front for funneling money to oppressive dictators and rulers, such as former Indonesian President Suharto, who came into power through a CIA-backed coup. In the 1960s, Obama's father had been selected by the leader of Kenyan African National Union, Tom Mboya, to receive scholarship and be airlifted to the University of Hawaii. CIA files indicate that Mboya was an important agent of influence for the agency. The airlift was a CIA operation to train future agents of influence in Africa, which was a battleground between the U.S., the Soviet Union, and China for influence. As a Kenyan student in the University of Hawaii, Obama's father, who was already married and had a child with another on the way in Kenya, met Obama's mother, Ann Dunham, in a Russian class in Hawaii. This meeting eventually led to their marriage. Barack Obama's mother, Dunham, was divorced when his son was four. She married Lolo Satoro after meeting him at the East-West Center at the University of Hawaii, the center affiliated with CIA activities in the Asia-Pacific region. She worked for Tim Geithner's father, Peter, at the Ford Foundation, widely believed to be a CIA front. Now Madsen is questioning that if Barack Obama, as is suspected, was subjected to the CIA project, either by brainwashing or being part of it, then it'll become problematic for an American president. He says if Obama has been brainwashed, then he can be controlled, and if he was simply part of this project, then he can be bribed.